every morning at 50 past the hour, we open our weather classroom to answer your questions about the weather. Today's question is what causes a front to become stationary and then what makes it move again? All right, so let's look at this. Um, we get sometimes these stationary fronts set up and uh, you think about what a front is. It's a boundary between two different types of air masses. In the case of a stationary front, you've got cold air or we'll call it cool air up to the north and then warm air to the south. And so these two air masses um, are in place, but neither one is really strong enough to make a move. And so the winds end up sort of paralleling along the front. Now, is the front absolutely stationary, not moving like foot on the ground? No, it's, there's a little movement. They're usually quasi stationary, but there's not a lot of movement. That doesn't happen until you get a wave of low pressure along the front. And then you start to get circulation and warm air can overtake or override cooler air up to the north. And so really what's happening here is the cool air is retreating and allows the warm air to come in. And then you start to see that front on the move, the warm front pushing north. On the flip side, you have the cold front that would be surging in as well as that cold air makes a move. So it's all about the movement of air and just how strong the air mass is. And of course, if there's a wave of low pressure. Now, what weather do you want to gain some wisdom about? You can send us your questions on social media, either tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag weatherwisdom. We will answer them every day at about 50 past the hour. 